Hello again, and welcome back to Granny Dorothy Visits. Today's topic is, My Heart Listens to the Voice Within. In the first reading, as usual, from Wayne Dyer's Everyday Wisdom, he said, Your soul, that inner, quiet, empty space, is yours to consult. It will always guide you in the right direction. Hmm. And from Julia Cameron's Blessings, the quote at the top of the page is from Rumi. Finally, I looked within my own heart, and there I found him. He was nowhere else. Mm -hmm. And the title is, My Heart Listens to the Voice Within. My heart is fulfilled. Its yearnings are prayers preparing to be answered. The good I am seeking seeks me as well. The love I wish for is mine as I love in return. It is the nature of spirit to give. It is my nature to receive. As I go to spirit to fulfill my desires, I recognize that spirit is also the source of those desires. I am a creative being. The creator within me yearns for what it wants to create. As I open myself to the divine creative energy which flows through me, I am both the prayer and its answer. And the last one from Richard Carlson's Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and his is titled, Develop Your Own Helping Rituals. If you want your life to stand for peace and kindness, it's helpful to do kind, peaceful things. One of my favorite ways to do this is by developing my own helping rituals. These little acts of kindness are opportunities to be of service and reminders of how good it feels to be kind and helpful. We live in a rural area of the San Francisco Bay Area. Most of what we see is beauty and nature. One of the exceptions to the beauty is the litter that some people throw out of their windows as they are driving on the rural roads. One of the few drawbacks to living out in the boondocks is that public services such as litter collection are less available than they are closer to the city. A little helping ritual that I practice regularly with my two children is picking up litter in our surrounding area. We've become so accustomed to doing this that my daughters will often say to me in animated voices, there's some litter daddy, stop the car. And if we have time, we will often pull over and pick it up. It may seem strange, but we actually enjoy it. We pick up litter in parks, on sidewalks, practically anywhere. Once I even saw a complete stranger picking up litter close to where we live. He smiled at me and said, I saw you doing it and it seemed like a good idea. Picking up litter is only one of an endless supply of possible helping rituals. You might like holding the door open for people, visiting lonely elderly people in nursing homes, or shoveling snow off someone else's driveway. Think of something that seems effortless yet helpful. It's fun, personally rewarding, and sets a good example. Everyone wins. What great advice. What a world it would be if we all did that, eh? Maybe we should think about our own helping rituals and see what we can come up with. In the meantime, I'm sending you my love, and I'll see you next week.